Show. NBA on 2K Sports, Ernie Johnson with colleagues Shaq and Ken Smith. Tonight, it'll be the Chicago Bulls up against the Miami Heat at American Airlines Arena. For the Heat, they've stumbled out of the gate as their season has begun in less than perfect fashion, let's say. The good news is that it's still early and they have time to turn it around. But if the losses continue to mount, that'll get more and more difficult. That's what makes this such an important game for them. And uh, Coach Fred Hoiberg, the mayor, a decade in the NBA, then a successful run coaching Iowa State. How do you think he's doing with the Bulls, Kenny? Uh, it's a tough act to follow with Tom Thibodeau departing. That's tough. But, uh, you know, his nice guy demeanor can win the team over. A uh, lot of new players, a lot of new things. It's tough. Good luck. You know, he's faced some criticism. Players say he needs to coach harder. Takes time. They just got to stick with him. That'll wrap it up as we take you courtside. Thank you for joining us. Promo squared away. Uh, Ch Charlie. Yeah, yeah, I got him right here. You know, I want new hashtags. I am not feeling those. Anything else? Oh, uh, rookie. DJ, a word. What's going on? You excited for the game? Yeah, I'm ready. Great, I so I have a semi-weird question for you. How many cell phones do you have? do I need? Well, it kind of depends. Shammy, how many burners you got? What you talking about? Shammy's Anna? got three phones. Three you know about. Hey, after all these celebs been getting hacked, I kind of shook. Now I like to compartmentalize. Got the business phone, agent, team, coach, Miss Shapiro, of Very kind. And I got my bat phone. Which is, you know, the bat phone. Okay, so DJ, you're on social media a lot, which is great, but now you don't just represent yourself, you represent the team. Uh, you should consider getting a second phone for your agent, manager, official team, social media. Get that back phone. Yeah. All right, guys. I'll think about it, but I got a game to focus on. Okay? You know that, right? At least on that part. Bro, two phone bills? You act like you can't afford it. Yeah. they call the American Airlines Arena in downtown Miami, Florida. Right on the water, the home of the heat, where we're broadcasting live today. It's Wednesday Night Basketball, live on 2K Sports. Our broadcast team tonight, on one side, Greg Anthony. On the other side, Steve Smith. And on the sideline, David Aldridge. I'm Kevin Harlan. 
take a look at the Bulls. They've got to be hoping that the road will be a little kinder to them than their winless hey, homestand they just concluded. Hey, you know, the start of the season, everybody thinks they're going to be playing for a championship or, or at least with some changes. Olenek, he's checked in for Whiteside. John and Dragic. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group. Here. Bobby Portis is checked in for Lopez. Markkanen comes in for Miritich. Justin Holliday is checked in for Quincy Pondexter. And it's Brown in for Jaron Grant. So for Chicago right now, we've got Brown. Portis is out there with Markkanen. Then it's Zach Levine. And it's Holiday in at the three slot. Well, it is something that every NBA player has and usually comes into the league with. So, Smitty, what was your free throw ritual and how did you come about it well I think one for me um, I have my mom and sister tattoo on my arms so I used to hold those two and, and just to say hi to them and then next I had to take my hands and wipe the sweat to make sure I could get a grip on the basketball then take a deep breath and then over and over I would just talk about my high school Michigan State my neighborhood and the ritual in my mind and then take the free throw so that was the things I did a lot of guys, especially Carl Malone, I always wanted to know what was he saying because he was talking to right, himself right. out loud but not really saying anything. Well, I, routine is what coaches always kind of prompt young players to get into, right, when they get to the line? Yeah, for sure. And I know one time, Kevin, I always looked for that nail at the free throw line, and I couldn't find it. And it seemed like it threw me off. One thirty left in the first quarter. Screen by Olenek. Five on the clock on the wing. Winslow. Over Holiday. Misses off the left iron. Last outing for Miami. It was a loss to the Minnesota Timberwolves. And with your defense, one part's your ability. The other, though, is effort. And in that one, they showed neither. Also, they were late with their rotations for most of the evening. Gave up a lot of easy points. Screen by Olenek. Johnson dishes to Olenek. That's in there, Johnson with the assist. Olenek's got his first two points of the night. And really, the improvement as a finisher is noticeable for Kelly Olenek. Now, here's Wells. Ellington defending. Wells' shot is good. And when you look back at the career of Shammy Wells, he has always been a player. You wonder why he isn't more effective on the court. Greg, uh, great skill set, but always finds something to trip up on. Yeah, a, a lot of the issue with Wells is that he just hasn't shown a dedication to making the most of that talent. He's kind of an eccentric guy and at times can fall too in love with what is going on in the moment instead of focusing on the long-term goal. It's tipped, and that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. And how about the reaction time on D there? Almost comes up with the pick. You know, these are the little plays that can add up when you look over the course of a game. Fifteen seconds left here in the opening quarter. Here's Brown. And he gets that one to go off the front iron. Brown's got his first basket. Crafty move. He recognizes the size disadvantage, and the mid-range is close enough. That's right. No reason to take it all the way to the rack. Instead, take what the defense allows. And that concludes the first quarter of play. Bulls lead by seven. Back after this from the American Airlines Arena. And forward James Johnson battled his way back into the league after some stints abroad. He talked about his approach to the game. I play the game how it's supposed to be played. I play offense, I play defense, I rebound, steals, blocks. You know, I'm pretty much that guy who likes to work hard and don't want anybody to beat him out, you know, except the challenge. That's exactly the kind of hard-nosed, old-school attitude that coaches just love. It, Kevin, and, and so do his teammates. I mean, a guy like that brings out the best in everybody on that team. They just kind of feed off of his effort and desire. 
And now the second quarter just getting set to start. And looking at what we've seen for the Bulls, what do you guys think? Protecting that rim early on, that's been a big factor for them tonight. Well, you can erase a lot of defensive mistakes when you have shot blockers lurking in the background. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. On the court for the Heat, Justice Winslow out there with Johnson. Then it's Johnson, then it's Olenek, and it's Ellington in at the two spot. Here's Olenek, and he uses the glass on the lane. Olenek's got his second basket of the night. Now, I'm not sure who was supposed to be on him that possession. I mean, apparently, neither did the defenders. Well, this Bulls team, the definition of mediocre last season, finished a 41-41 and -41 record. They decided it was time to trade away Jimmy Butler and go young. And we've got an update here, so let's check in with David Aldridge reporting from the sideline. Well, guys, Miami's Eric Spolstra is known for his focus and his devotion to work. How does he stay centered? Yoga. He said, I like it because you have to keep your eyes on your own mat. If you're not focused on the spot in front of you, you'll fall over. Kevin, that mindfulness translates across the board. Mindfulness, that's an interesting way to look at things, D.A. Spo is a great, great communicator. Knows how to certainly get through to his team. And for the Bulls, some felt they didn't get enough back in return for Jimmy Butler from Minnesota. Uh, Smitty, what's your take on that? Well, the Bulls got younger. They got some shooting, which they really needed. Ask me in a few years after we see how these young fellas develop. First free throw is good, and the Heat with some changes. Whiteside's checked in for Kelly Olynyk. Waiters comes in for Wayne. And the first half comes to a close. We've... Thanks, Kevin. Zach, a hard-fought first half. What changes have to be made to get a little separation? They're making tough shots. We're trying to stick to our concept, so we got to come back, make plays, make shots, and, uh, you know, just stay solid. Always a challenge for a young team. Thanks for your time, Zach. Back to you, Kevin. Thanks, David. And we'll be back shortly at halftime to get the third quarter underway. We have a close ball game on our hands as we get set for the second half of basketball. You look at Zach. A different look for Miami. Kelly Olynyk comes in for Jordan Mickey, and it's Johnson in for Waiters. And Chicago also making a switch. Browns checked in, so the Bulls five right now. Here it's edge at the power forward with Lopez in the middle. On out there was Zach Levine, and it's Pondexter in at the small forward. And probably the one constant of this Miami team the last few years it has been their defense. They do a great job of making life difficult for opposing shooters, and it's been anchored by one of the best shot blockers in the game with Whiteside. Some changes for Chicago. Felicio's checked in for Lopez. Portis comes in. Yo, I kind of feel like Bill Murray in that one movie. What's it called again? Caddyshack? Uh, nah, nah, that's not it. Rushmore. Nah, that's not it, Coach. It's Ghostbusters. Y'all not letting me explain, man. It's that movie where he lives the same day over and over again, and it kind of feels like this road trip. Like, every day is the same. I just can't like Ghostbusters. Oh, Groundhog's Day. Yes. Well, why didn't you just say that? Man, I was trying to think you of it. You were talking about Rushmore and Ghostbusters? Who is Bill Murray? The dude from Space Jam. Which was a good movie, by the way. No, that was Billy Crystal. Uh, no. That's uh, Deuce Bigelow. Oh, yeah. okay. 